Listen, I know that the thumbnail shows Panther, but I kited for three minutes as Futaba at half health, so this is the real power of skin share. And no, the power was not getting chaired or failing flywheels. It's because I didn't get skin chaired in this smash because I pulled Futaba myself in 20 pulls and I'm still very happy about that. But now I have to spend money to awaken her and I hate NetEast for doing this to me. <laughs> not the panic flywheel, that is so me. It really is amazing how the hunter managed to let all of us rescue even if we were at half health and like the spot easiest stuff ever um now that i think about it i can't really be saying anything and i won't tell you why since i'll spoil one of my later videos but just know that i've been there before anyway i wanted to show you some clips from before my kite so i can show you mechanic support her bot can do rescues can decode and is basically better than most little girl mains which is to say me because i haven't played her in a long time Maybe I should have a go at her just to make people suffer. Somehow I managed to make this rescue, which is honestly surprising because I'm sure you would have seen an orange blob crawling to the chair. But who knows, because I'm very blind as well. Anyway, I discovered that it's actually very hard to focus on the gameplay while I'm yapping in your ears, so I will be leaving some more, um, what to say, silence or me time so you can watch the video in peace. Was that toxic? Because I thought it was funny, but also toxic. And why did she walk into a pallet anyway? This was the most predictable blink I have ever come across. Like, separated by a pallet, healing, one hit down, and the straight change pop-up? Like, what did you expect? At least I managed to predict it, though. Imagine if I flywheeled and then got hit, or terror shocked, that would be really embarrassing. Kite is coming up now, and spoiler alert, I abused the hell out of my speed boost, as you can see right here. Hey, would this be classified as raw kiting? No items, no whatsoever. Because this chicken is definitely raw, and we'll give you chickenella. That wasn't funny, was it? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, I ran away from this pallet because I thought that if she went through it, then she would break it, which means I have no pallets left. And thank the Lord for Mary's crap hitbox because her mirror wouldn't be as easy to juke if it was something like white god woo. <laughs> I hate you, I got. I'm gonna break your knees if I ever get you in my matches ever again. Cue me running around like the raw headless chicken I am because I can't see her. And she can't see me, which is, I mean, good, I guess. This accessory that I'm wearing, Candy Apple, actually matches really well with Futaba for some reason, and I don't know why. You see me running around because I thought she was going to try and cut me off, but I mind game myself. And like, sometimes simplicity is the easiest thing. And look at that hitbox. I have proven it that her hitbox is shit. Sometimes during a kite, the best thing to do is just stay still. Like, you're not getting any distance, but you're also not running into the hunter either. Now I'm just vaulting these windows waiting for the speed boost because I think she vaults just as slow as the hunters, so I don't think I'm getting any distance from this, but you know what? I get speed boost. But do you know why I transitioned out of this area? It's because it's dead now. I have no more windows to get around against, and she is catching up to me, which means I have to go to a pallet, and thank god it was put down actually. Actually, I love whoever did that. Anyway, I kite until her blink is almost up again, which means I might have to predict blink, but do you believe me if I said that I kited into factory and I did not get killed at all because I don't think I would either. Finally, now I can say that this video is not clickbait, but I didn't really do any kiting in this match, just a really funny rescue and a whole lot of decoding. I always like decoding from the front because I like the sound way more. Anyways, I'm just gonna cut it because I cannot be bothered to listen to all that Oops, I have no idea why I did this <laughs> um, My excuse is that I was trying to be a um, cypher machine uh, voice actor So like yeah, uh, was that good? Can you recommend me to NetEase please? <laughs> and look who's here. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends I mean my wife for sponsoring this video by skin sharing me panther before the persona 5 crossover came back I mean trust I had the skins before the crossover came back. I mean, I don't think anyone would care. I don't either because it's back now. What are you going to do about it? Delete it? No, you're not. All that things. Um, it was because I was walking away from my phone while doing it and I am like speaking directly into the bottom of my phone and I don't have a mic. So that's why my audio quality is so bad. But I'm not about to ask my parents for a mic because they would be like, but you already have one. It's shit and it's cheap 
which is why they want me to use it out. That hurt. Anyway, Racecourse is my third most hated map after Golden Cave and Dark Woods in that order. Because where are you supposed to kite? I mean, like the horses are fun, but then it also makes my phone lag hard. And by lag, I mean, I mean, um, lag harder than normal. Sorry, I had a rain fart there. And that it makes my phone burn even harder. Yeah, my phone burns anyway. <laughs> the way we all scattered when we got Harvey was so funny though. And um, I don't know how I failed the pallet stun here, but I failed it. And I'm very embarrassed about that. But hey, I was like, huh? Thank God he missed a foggy blade though. I would have been so embarrassed if that hit. And please stop wasting my boxes. I'm going to get you when I get you. I'm going to get you. Yeah, when, when the jack got got. Yeah, yeah, he's going to get got. Oh my god. It's just like, try and saying this five times louder challenge. Not louder, faster. I am having a brain fart. I am like texting and scripting at the same time. It's like texting and driving or driving and drinking, but less dangerous. Anyway, my boxes are gone now. I would not be a good female dancer main. Although I tell myself, I'll main her if I get Anne Takamaki, but I'm not going to wail on Essence one because there is like a four out of five chance. Or was it three out of four? Four out of five chance of getting a skin I don't even want to play and I would rather pull on essence what was it again essence 2 because there's more chance of me getting a skin that I actually want and there's less chance of me getting Ren because I don't play him but even if I got him no wait no he's an essence one even if I got Goro it's fine because that just means my account value goes up higher and yes I am obsessed with accounts no I'm not you have to step out of it P. you cannot go into the rabbit hole because you're just gonna stop enjoying the game and like the skins more anyway I pinged sorry because I thought that the horse was not gonna stop at where I wanted to rescue Enchantress and thank god I actually rescued a second before I got hit no was it after because I would have definitely gotten terror shocked. <laughs> I am on a terror shock streak for some reason. TBH, I think I should start recording live matches because you don't have to find other things to yap about since you can just comment on what's happening. But I don't know if I'm going to manage to record anything good, so it might just waste my space. I actually wish I got the 512 gigabyte phone because 128 is not enough for Genshin, Wild Rift, Identity 5, and MLBB. Like, I want to download Wuwa. What am I supposed to do? Do it on another phone? I don't have another phone. Anyway, on to the next match because I cannot keep yapping for 4 minutes and 18 seconds more. Now this, it was a Hellember endgame and you know how annoying his double puppet trick is. He's like, keep teleporting. It's going to drag the match up to 30 minutes. It's not even Joseph talk, trying to be him. I mean, I have no idea why he didn't just teleport to the puppet and instead use the warp. Like... Bro, I know when your wolf is coming because one, there is a warning and two, I can hear the sound. He chased me away from the gate and then put a new puppet there. So now I either have to dismantle it and then open the gate, which gives him time to come back or decode the gate, which means he can teleport back or find the dungeon, which I don't know the location of. And being the impatient P that I am, I decide to go find dungeon on the side of the map I'm going to. Since there's two possible dungeon locations there instead of the one under the bridge, but it's just my luck that it's not there. Not that they would have left anyway. I think mechanic just like gateway and then you can see why it's a loss instead of a tie. I managed to kite him around pretty well, but I honestly wish that priestess has waited to give me the long portal because there's only a few seconds left. I can probably kite that long. Actually, no, I cannot kite that long. They both jump scared me. This was like a 2v1. I mean, this isn't duos. This isn't fun, okay? And then the stupid puppet trick. Why did I not see it coming at all? Actually, I don't know why I ran towards the mecha bot because for starters, she could have come and rescued me with her bot if I didn't run into it. And I mean, I think now the hunter knows where she is, but I was on call and my teammate was just telling me, hey, maybe use the bot as a body block. And it actually seemed like a really good idea and it still does to me. And you see how I'm paying don't rescue me, but guess what the mechanic does? Just watch on because I am tired of yapping, please. I know I said I would stop yapping, but this is just a message. Uh, once I get through the replays that I've saved, I'll start posting live matches because it's easier to edit them since you can see the clicks and it just feels a bit more personal if you know what I mean. I don't really know the word I'm looking for to be honest. So moral of the story, skin share is not a save all. It's friendship, the power of friendship.
does anyone know my little pony oh sorry and it's listening to pings such as don't rescue me when you're trying to rescue against a hunter of detention i mean i can't really get mad it is just quick match and i don't play solo rank anyway anyway futaba pools i mean persona 5 pools i hope you all have a great day and get the skin that you want and goodbye